TrumanLakeFishingIntel.com presents your latest Truman Lake Fishing Intel Expert Roundtable. TrumanLakeFishingIntel.com is your premier resource for up-to-date expert fishing reports and videos to help you find the fish faster and become a better Truman angler. Multi-species coverage includes crappie, catfish, bass, hybrids, and more. View this month's full episode roundtable exclusively at TrumanLakeFishingIntel.com. This month's roundtable is brought to you by Anglers Port Marine. Whether you're a first-time boat owner or a seasoned professional, Anglers Port Marine has an option for you. Conveniently located between Clinton and Warsaw on 7 Highway, stop on in to view top industry boat brands including Phoenix, Low, and Camus Boats. With their award-winning sales and service, Anglers Port Marine has you covered. Call 660-438-4600 or learn more at anglersportmarine.com. Just another nightly rental. Owned by David and Gina Townsend, this lake area property located at 32640 Highway 43 in Warsaw is perfect for your next lake getaway. Sleeping up to 8, this home is located conveniently within a short drive to boat ramps on both Truman and Lake of the Ozarks. Weekly discounted rates are available and a welcome meal is provided if booked more than one night. Call now to book your stay, 660-287-7615. Total Auto Repair, your go-to vehicle repair service in Clinton, Missouri. Located right across from City Hall, Total Auto Repair features a combined 62 years of auto repair experience. Master technicians for Ford, Chevy, and Toyota, and they have all ASC master certifications. Specialties include brakes, suspension, HVAC, electrical, drivetrain, and drivability. And a special discount is available for Truman Lake Fishing Intel members when you show them your premium account at the counter. Call 660-383-1136 to schedule your top-of-the-line vehicle service today. And now, let's start the show. Boys and girls, we are back again for another edition of the Truman Lake Fishing Intel Expert Roundtable. It is June 2023. We just came out of the holiday weekend for Memorial Day. We're coming into another holiday weekend here in a couple of weeks with July 4th. I've got a great cast here tonight, starting on my right, Hunter Bowling, two third place finishes this past <laughs> weekend. Good job, Hunter. Yeah. Third. <laughs> third. I'm still proud of you. He's going to talk about that here in a little bit. Gary, who has been Richard Bowling's fishing partner for quite some time. 20 plus years. 20 plus years. So he's got some stories I'm sure we'll see what we can get out of them here in a little bit. How old are you guys? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Older. <laughs> of course, Richard Bowling, the crappie king of Truman Lake, is here with us tonight and almost the shirt to match the boat. Oh yeah, close. Yep. Yeah, he's he's trying to be found out there on the lake, apparently. <laughs> Dylan Stocking from Get Outdoors Guide Service, Crappie Fishing Extraordinaire as well. Jeff Falkenberry from Endless Season Guide Service, Catfish, Crappie, you name it, he can catch it. And then J.B. Gray, another special guest we have tonight. If you guys have watched, he was a guest of ours uh, a few months ago. Yeah. Few months ago. Uh, J.B. is on the high school bass fishing team. Just uh, finished up in the, was that the state championship? Yeah, Missouri State Championship. Missouri State Championship uh, down on Stockton. So he's going to talk about that uh, a little bit here this, uh, tonight as well. Um, but before we get into everything, we just want to say thank you to all of our sponsors, Anglers Port Marine, um, Total Auto Repair, uh, just another rental uh, company from Dave and Gina Townsend, of course, Nini's Italian Steakhouse, and just another catering company. But we are at a special location tonight. We're shooting out in the open at a brand new restaurant called When I See Food. And it is here in Clinton. It's right across from Lloyd's Tire on 2nd Street. Local family that, that owns it. What the heck? You were holding down the lock button. Whoops. There you go. Uh, phone's going off. Don't know what the heck that was. But yeah, yeah one job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, owned by a local family. They just started this up. It is really exciting. We've got a lot of great restaurants here in town. Everyone's used to the pizza, the Mexican, Mallard's. This is really cool because this is seafood, steaks, you're talking boiled shrimp, lobster tail, king crab. They've got catfish, uh, 
I had the corn dogs and and pretzel on Sunday, and, it, and they, I mean, they've got a little bit of everything, and it is all very, very good. Very excited. They had a soft opening here this past weekend. Uh, they're going to be doing kind of the grand opening here in a couple of weeks. But we really hope you guys come check them out. We're going to try to do a several more videos here uh, throughout the summer. We had a ribeye tonight before the show started. And I'm telling you, there's not a ribeye within 40 miles like it. Yeah, very good. Very it good. was very, very good. Yeah. Um, and there's shrimp, the potato. big shrimp. And we had the garlic butter Cajun seasoned shrimp. They were absolutely incredible. I'm really excited to have something like this close to home for me and my clients to have a place where we can go that's a little bit more upscale or, or top notch, I guess you'd say. So we're super excited to have When I Seafood right here close to our hometown. Different from what yeah from what we got around here. Yeah, we don't we don't get we don't have we've got good food, food around, we got, but we don't have anything like this. Yeah. yeah. So I'm excited about it. Yep, super excited. They got the food truck right here and the goal is that they'll have a brick and mortar restaurant here at some point in the next year so rain sleet sunshine winter summertime you have a place to come down and sit in the restaurant and enjoy some really awesome seafood which we just don't really have a lot of in the area so we're i've never even had shrimp out of truman lake till today <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty good we got we're gonna have to start doing fishing reports yeah. on how to get those suckers yeah. but uh no really excited we really appreciate you guys watching Come check them out. You will not be disappointed. It is outstanding. With that, let's get into some fishing. Let's get into some fishing. I'm not sure where I want to start. There's a lot of really good stuff to talk about. Let's see. What's today? Today's the uh, June 13th. We're halfway through June. Richard, let's kind of recap what's been going on the last couple weeks and what the what we're looking for here moving forward the rest of the summer. Man, it's all main lake flats for me and my clients. Um, keying on 10 foot of water and more fishing seven, eight, nine feet down. Just keep it on the move, getting on any flat that's got a tree row, a road bed, a fence row, look for a fence row, isolated trees. And it's it's going to be the same bite for next three months. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to get better and better. Still a lot of fish coming out of these creeks to get on these main lake flats to, you know, for the summertime stuff. But right now it's pretty easy. You can get down toward Long Shore and you're going to get in big groups of fish. Which I don't like to do. I don't like to go through a lot of little fish. Mm -hmm. I do. I know you. <laughs> I don't. Um, I'd rather catch one fish here, one fish there, and that's what I'm doing. I'm keying on buck salt above. Uh, you know, for guiding, what Jeff say, that's to keep the clients involved. You know, that's a lot of fun too. A lot of bites, a lot of bites. But I'd rather catch a fish, be a keeper, put it in the cooler. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all going to stay the same. The water temperature this morning was 74 degrees. When me and Gary got off the water pre-fishing this afternoon, it was 82. So when that water gets warmer and warmer, it's going to get better and better. Yeah. So the good is yet to come. Yeah. Well, and you've been on the Grand Arm. You've fished down towards Longshore. You've fished above Bucksaw. You've been over on the Osage as well. Is the Osage fishing as good as the Grand Arm? The Osage was actually 